Final Fantasy 3. Yeah, whatever. We'll never come to a theater near. <laughs> Hello, Internet, and welcome to Retro Plays. It's been a long time since this series graced any of the Bink Deadpool network, but I thought it was a long time coming, especially since this is, like, this is the Final Fantasy that started it all. Excuse me, taking a drink from my coffee. But this is the Final Fantasy that started all Final Fantasies. We're talking about Final Fantasy 1. Produced by Square back in 87. Copyright Nintendo, 1990. Um, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna... We're, we're gonna go into new game. Alright, first... Let's, let's look over the, the characters and everything. And I'm gonna just, like, tell you guys one of the reasons I love Final Fantasy. And... The only thing, I, I've never played this game. I've never played Final Fantasy One. I, I know everybody's gonna freaking like tie me up on a freaking spike and pitchforks and everything. It's gonna be horrible. One of the one of the first ways I've actually seen this game wasn't actually in a game per se. It was actually on a web comic called Eight Bit Theater, and which uh, uh, it's a web comic which was later made into like a web series on YouTube called 8-Bit Theater Chaos, uh, on Cyanic's, uh, I think his name is Cyanic. Cyanic. Cyanic, yes, it's, it's Cyanic's channel. Okay, so yeah, he's got all the way up to episode 70, uh, on his channel, and it, unfortunately it had to fall apart. But I love the series, I'll, uh, try to show you guys a small bit of it right now. Now, we just need something to cast the votes in, like a giant oversized hat or something. I've got black magic, a hair trigger, and a short fuse. Bring it. She wasn't that funny. Oh, BM. Such a card. Uh, but, yeah. but uh, you know, you guys should totally check out the series. It's really funny. I'm actually going to run with the four that are featured in that game. So, let's see. We got Fighter, who we're just going to call F T R after fighter because he's the fighter so there we go we're gonna call him but okay I'm... do I just do that okay fighter all right and all right so yeah we're gonna do it just like as if they were encountered each other so it's fighter black mage aka the best character in the goddamn comic, BM. And then you got the third member that joined up, the thief, the contractual leader to the group, he's only the contractual leader because he pretty much made himself that way. <laughs> Oops, oops, alright, I'm just, I gotta know my buttons. Alright, and there's Red Mage. We already got Red Mage, so. Uh, and we just call him RM. Right? One, okay. There we go. There's our four party members. We got Fighter, the Fighter, Black Mage, the Black Mage, Thief, the Thief. And Red Mage the Red Mage. And again, this is NES, so it's like, as soon as you load up the game and pick your characters, they just literally throw you into the world and they're like, here you go. Here you go, guys. Do your thing. So here is the first city that we come across. Nothing here. This is Corneria. Yeah, cool. this is Corneria, the dream city. It's a dream here. Okay, okay, okay. What do you got to say, lady? I am Aurelin, the dancer. Cool. 
warriors retrieve the power of the orbs. Apparently we're the warriors. Warriors, come out and play. Save the princess. Save the princess, save the world. What do you got to say? Lucan left this town to join his colleagues at the Crescent Lake. Groovy. So yeah, this is like old school. This is like how RPGs originated, kinda. So it's like, it's not even like... There wasn't even a real setup. It's just like you talk to people around town and you ask them questions. Clinic, you have not... Okay. That's the clinic. Good to know. This must be the item shop. Heal, pure, tent. Nah, we don't need any of that. What do you got to say? My home is Provokia, a beautiful port city far to the east of here. Uh, yeah, we already talked to you. What about you, lady, over by the clinic? What do you got to say? Nothing here. Please save the princess. Everybody wants me to save the princess. What do you got to say, guard? The king is sure that someday the light warriors will come to save the princess, just as Luskan's prophecy, or just like in Luskan's prophecy. Yay! Alright, so is this a different city portion? No, it's the same city portion. Okay. Then we'll go to the castle. King is looking blah blah blah. Okay, so we'll just try to get to the king. Should be pretty simple. Just like, literally walk forward, I believe. There he is. There's the king. Light warriors, just as Luskan's prophecy. And just as in Luskan's prophecy. Garland has kidnapped the princess. Please save her. I'm King Steve. What do you got to say, city guard? Nope, oh, okay. Welcome to Corneria. Welcome to Corneria. Welcome to Corneria. I like swords. I like swords. I like swords. I like swords. Alright, so... Our mission is to... Save the princess. Save the world. We're monsters! Let's fight! Chance for a first strike. Okay. We didn't buy any spells, so black, ma black mages... Kinda shitty. One damage. Missed. Come on, it, you gotta earn your freaking uh, EXP. Terminated. How about we run? How about we run? How about we run? How about we run? I just realized I didn't freaking get anything. I just realized I didn't buy anything. I'm gonna cut all this part out. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Yep. Alright, cool. Here we go. Alright, so it would probably help if I bought things. Let's see, what can we buy? Okay, wooden... Alright, five, five... Alright, cool, alright. Wooden staff, we'll buy that. Uh, BM. Um... Small... That should probably go to Thief. Um... A Rapier. I guess that would go to RM. Okay, I think that's pretty much all I can do there. Let's see what we can get for armor. Cloth. Eh, 
There we go, that should be enough. Alright, get out of there. Alright, well, let's go buy some spells for our peeps. Because I forgot to do everything. Wait, uh, BM. Fire. Why not? Alright, we'll get that. That'll be his one freaking, uh, that one. Uh, alright, and we'll buy a cure spell for RM. There we go. Let's get out of here. Alright, that should be it, right? Nothing here. Okay, here we go. Here's the start. Ma oh, son of a biscuit. I have nothing. Magic. Nothing. Nothing. Foya! Cure. Alright, cool. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now we should be good. Let's get up on out of here. Dang it. There we go, I got out of the city, guys. I got out of the city. Holy crap, I didn't realize that was going to be so hard. Inside the dragon's forest lies the cave of no return. Inside the cave of no return lies the armor of invincibility. Ow! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, they're gonna kill- they're gonna kill Fighter. Oh my god, alright. Fighter, Fighter, kill. Kill, 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 kill. Alright, uh, Magic. Do a, a Hadouken to them. Um. You gotta cure freaking Fighter. Oh my god, he's gonna die. Fighter's gonna die. Fighter's gonna die. That's one goblin down. Okay. Alright, I was about to say, is he gonna heal anything? No? Ineffective. Oh god, we attacked a different people. Oh. Alright. Ow, stop trying to kill BM. Hadouken! So we'll do that. We'll have you fire. Have you do that. There we go. We'll do that. This this is like how exciting random encounters used to be, okay? And I'm gonna tell you right now, this game's hard. I'm not gonna play the entire game. This game's hard. There's literally a way to go through this entire game with four white mages. And it's possible. It is possible to do it. It's hard as hell. But you can do it. I'm just gonna have everybody fight this around. There we go. Nope. One damage. Good job, BM. One damage. Good job. There we go. Monsters perished. Yay. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. I'm on to your game game. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not really down, okay? We gotta go back to Corneria. I'm not gonna even be able to hit up the first freaking major dungeon in this freaking video. Oh, okay. 
for some reason my controls get all wonky at points. I don't understand. Don't forget, if you leave your game, hold reset while you turn your power off. Okay. Uh, Alright, I think we'll do one or two more random encounters and then we'll beat feet out of here. We'll uh, call this uh, retro play a one and done. Because, uh,. It's gonna be rough if I try to play through this. I don't really think I should, to be honest. Oh, crap, I did not mean to attack him. Fucking red M, red M, RM. God damn it, RM. Oh, only one damage, okay. It could have been a lot worse. But yeah, um, this Final Fantasy is, is, like I said earlier in the video, it's the first Final Fantasy game to ever in front of the world, in front of the masses. So it was a bit of an odd thing to see, you know, you having these characters who all fight other characters on the other side of the screen and everything, and it's like, you set up attacks, you set up your damage, and everything like that. It was a big first at the time. And a lot of people just really didn't know how to take it. And a lot of the tropes that you see in Final Fantasy carry on through, like, Final Fantasy 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way down the line. Like, uh, the random encounter, not, not even random encounters, but, like, um spells and, and like black magic white magic uh, things like that all right we're gonna end this missed and fighters down well Yeah, actually, I believe, I believe, um, if I remember correctly, too, this, oh god, I'm fucked. I am literally fucked here. Um, but, like, this party of, this configuration of, of party members with, like, fighter, black mage, thief, and red mage, I think this is actually, like, hard mode for the game, too. Well, not even hard mode, but just, like, it's definitely not, um, definitely not easy mode, or, like, I guess what would be the white mage mode, which is kind of, um, it, well, I wouldn't even say it's, like, hard mode, it's just, like, extensive, it's long, time-consuming, because you have to, like, really just pick and time everything. But, um, like I said, this game is long, this game is extensive, this game has a extremely high, uh, random encounter rate, uh, if you want to experience the story of this game, I would suggest instead of playing Final Fantasy, uh, in its form as you're seeing it right now, 
I, I would suggest look up the uh, 8-Bit Theater webcomic by, I believe it's uh, Brian Clevenger. Uh, and read up on that. And if you don't feel like reading or don't have the time to read, uh, maybe check out the YouTube video series of uh, 8-Bit Theater Comics, or 8-Bit Theater Chaos on uh, Cyanix, Cyanix uh, channel. I'll try to leave uh, descriptions for pretty much both of those in, or like links to those in the description below. So that way uh, you guys can experience too. Consider it Bink homework. You know, let me know what you think of 8-Bit Theater Chaos and everything. And that'll be a question of, your, of the stream, or a question of the video. Who was your favorite character? Or actually, what's your favorite character class in Final Fantasy? Even better. So, thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Retro Plays. I'm Bink Deadpool. We'll see each other in the next video or stream. Until then, peace out. Yeah.